Hello Internet and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Sonic Generations for the PC. Last time we finished up the last of the challenge acts and defeated the Egg Dragoon for the seventh and final Chaos Emerald, which allowed us to get the gears turning and open up this thing, the Stargate, to the final boss battle against the Time Eater, which as you can see, I've already run through and S-ranked uh, during a practice run. Wow, uh, it's sure taken me a long time to get here since November. Yeah, I started this Let's Play in November, which uh, brings me to my next topic. This will be the last time you see me do a Let's Play of a, of a new video game uh, right after it comes out. I didn't have nearly enough time to uh, familiarize myself with this game. As of this Let's Play, this will be my second time 100%ing this game. So, uh, that's honestly what took so long getting through this uh, getting through this Let's Play. It's me just playing parts of the game over and over and over again to really familiarize myself with it. Doing uh, one file uh, in tandem with my actual Let's Play and swapping back uh, save uh, uh, game saves in between folders during the whole process and Honestly, coming very close to uh, losing track, and I really should have known better. I mean, that's what, this is one of the reasons that I postponed um, my Deus Ex Human Revolution Let's Play indefinitely. I'll probably be picking it up uh, in the near, in the uh, distant future. Uh, with that being said, uh, like uh, I uh, will not be doing a Let's Play of Sonic CD anytime soon for anybody who wants to know. And yes, I am well aware and I have seen all the footage of Sonic 4 Episode 2. It looks really good. But as good as it looks, and even if I do really like it when, uh, when it comes out, I will not immediately be starting a Let's Play of it until I've run through several times and become familiar with the game, much like I did with Sonic Colors and Metroid Other M. But, with all bitching and moaning aside, let's get this thing started. Okay, whatever you are, if you want to avoid an embarrassing beatdown, you better give up now! You're not in a position to demand anything, you nasty little pincushion! Eggman! But how? Pingus! A little help. Sorry, nobody. couldn't resist. Nobody calls me that anymore. Actually, it lots of older fans call you that. Gentleman genius Dr. Eggman from the future. It will be my pleasure, most excellent and efficacious Dr. Eggman of the past. Let me go After look up efficacious. Setback, I stumbled upon the primordial form of this unique creation, which I discovered had amazing abilities even I have never been able to master. It could erase time and space. I then had the brilliant idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. For those of you who aren't aware, In that scene was from the end of Sonic I Colors. Need the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. Or Nega oh, Eggman. Or kind, Tails. Future self, and I was happy to help. I captured your friends, flinging them through time to bait my traps. But the more your monster tears through time, the more damage you do to the world. The world? I'm going to own the world when I'm finished with Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> wow, will I really get that crazy? Yes, with a daily dose of Mickey <laughs> Rooney's crazy pills. Crazy after I destroy both Sonics forever. You mean after we destroy them? Less arguing, more destroying. Destroy me? You and what mustache? I beat you all the time by myself, and now there's two of me. Then I'll have twice as much fun defeating you! Alright, Sonics, use those Chaos Emeralds! Now would be a really good time to use the Emeralds against the monster. No, you want to be a show-off, you dipshit. Move all you want! I'm still going to stump you into a blue jelly! Well, you don't really stomp with your hand now, do you? 
Should have used those emeralds. <laughs> That was just to soften you up. Now it's time to meet your doom. Do it, Sonic! Come on, Sonic! Smack him! <sighs> Not you! They're gonna motivate him and he's Sonic. gonna wake up. Smash him Sonic. now. Smash him now while you got a chance. He's still laying then there. You're insignificant. You no, okay. Power, Sonic. Focus your spirit. We're with you guys! Don't give in, Sonic. I know you can do this, Sonic. You can win, Sonic. You always do. We believe in the power of friendship. Time to scramble some Eggman, Super Sonic style. Let's show him the real superpower of teamwork. Okay, so this is the Time Eater, as it will show you in the text right now. Alright, so, not much to say. Pretty lame boss battle, to be perfectly honest. Just hold down the Y button to boost. We got some debris that we're, uh, that's flying toward us. So, uh, dodge enemy attacks, dodge debris, and in order to take out some of the debris, you just press the jump button to launch Classic Sonic toward it. And once we get close, oh, and we didn't get close enough. Oh, that sucked. So anyway, when we get close enough, you'll see that targeting reticle, and you might be uh, tempted to homing attack, but what you actually have to do is just get close and ram into them. That'll launch some rings out, catch as many as you can, and then continue. Got more debris. Let's see if we can knock some of it out of the way. Dodge the homing attacks by just holding still until they get close, and then move out of the way. And when he moves outside of this tunnel, you press the Y button to switch control over to Classic Sonic. And pretty much the same thing. Just um, hold down the boost button in order to uh, get towards Eggman. Or the Eggman, or the Time Eater, whatever you want to call it. If you press the jump button, you can launch Modern Sonic forward like a missile, so it makes it kind of a shoot 'em up section. And it's actually very rare that we actually get close to the time meter in the side-scrolling section. I think it's only happened to me during uh, one playthrough. Alright, so let's go down to dodge these hands. Now, his attacks can't really kill you, but as fast as your eggs... Uh, eggs? As fast as your... Why did I say eggs? As fast as your rings drain... Um... Getting slowed down by his attacks can actually be quite deadly because it's quite hard to see the rings coming and you pretty much have to be just lucky enough to approach a trail of rings when you get close. All right. When you see his hands glow, you want to move out of the way, but I got hit by a piece of debris, so it doesn't really matter. It would have had the same effect if I got smacked, but we caught up to him and we managed to land the attack. Whoa, come on. What are you doing? This is weird. Okay, there we go, and we busted off his lower arm, so we're pretty much at the halfway point of the battle at this point. And I'm getting quite lucky with these ring trails. Let's take out some of this debris, wait for this homing attack, let's wait for these missiles to pass, and then we will switch over to the side section. Let's see if we can actually get close enough. All right, now he's going to be doing this weird, um, well, some people like to call it the Chrono Trigger attack. It's actually called Time Break, and after you beat him, it's one of the uh, abilities that you unlock for use, um, in addition to Supersonic, which in this game sucks. Uh-oh. Laser. Yeah, if he's about to shoot the laser at you, just switch over to the side-scrolling section, and he'll just shoot it to the side, and it will miss you. So just move back in here and continue the assault. So about that time break attack, which he's about to do again, it is not threatening at all. 
it would be threatening if it just slowed you down and everything else stayed the same speed, including uh, the decline of your ring counter, but no, it slows those down too. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not good. Get down, dodge the attack. Luckily, we got plenty of rings. Let's see if we can get in. Come on. Uh, you suck. Come on. Go, 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 go. I didn't even see his hands go for that attack. And I believe that's the last attack. Yep, now he'll be tur he'll be pulling in that starburst from the outside of the tunnel. And as soon as he turns as soon as he pulls it in, hold down the left and right bumpers. And that's pretty much it. You got him beat. The Sonics will break through the sun the uh, sunburst and they'll attack the time eater's core and that's it. You got him beat. And I really love how Sega managed to troll everybody by using the opening rift to live and learn as you were uh, powering up for your final attack there. And then they moved to the theme song of Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 because that's so much better. Anyway, that's the Time Eater with an S rank. And here's a cutscene. Still warm. Yeah, it was just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. Silver, why the hell are you here instead of in your erased timeline? I'll admit, Same to you, you Blaze. Jeez, raging PMS much? He collects how many? Wow, where does somebody put all those gold rings? You know what? I don't know. I, I keep forgetting to ask. No, never mind. Ne Shadow, don't cross your arms. You're not intimidating like that. You don't have it was shoulders. Great up with you. Hope you learned a few tricks that'll help you out in the future. I mean, the past. It, you know what I mean. Get used to it. It's a running gag. Dude, sweet. And you're only gonna get better. There's our rock. Wait, you can't send classic Tails back to Green Hill Zone? That's not canon! Hey, Sonic! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great! Quit lying to yourself. It's not gonna be great until... 20 years later? So that is Sonic Generations, and we get a little montage of clips from uh, past Sonic games to go along with this cool little medley of Sonic music. Here we have Sonic the Hedgehog 1, and I remember when I first saw commercials for this game, it made me want a Sega Genesis so bad. Um, of course, I didn't get to have a Genesis immediately, although my local video rental store did rent out the Sega Genesis and other consoles with a very hefty deposit, so that's how I managed to get my hands on this game for the first time. Now, this is the game that I got with my Sega Genesis, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I remember my first introduction to this game. I saw it in a magazine. I saw one little screenshot of Sonic and Tails running through Chemical Plant Zone, and all I knew about Tails was that he was a two-tailed fox who could fly. Little did I know that in-game, you wouldn't be able to actually make him fly when playing as him, which actually took me a little while to figure out how to do, since the options weren't um, readily apparent on the title screen. But they fixed my issue with Tails in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. He was able to fly, he was able to swim, and he was awesome. He actually was kind of the easy mode for the game, and he was also playable in Sonic and Knuckles if you locked the two games together. And those games were awesome. I also, uh, I got, I remember getting, um, both of those games for Christmas, actually. I wanted Sonic 3 for my birthday, didn't get it, but I ended up getting both Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles on Christmas of 1994. And that made me a happy little boy.
And I love this epic part where you're climbing up that spiral tower to the Death Egg. And here's Sonic Adventure. This game blew me away when I first saw it in 1999. Bear in mind, you know, I think the term that we old folks used to use back in the day with all these cinematics is, Whoa! It's like playing a movie! And as much as I like this game, the DX ports, especially the ones on Xbox Live and PSN, really show the game's age. And I prefer the Dreamcast version with its superior audio quality and uh, textures. Yeah, the textures are better in the Dreamcast version. And the same can go for Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, the Dreamcast version is actually the only one that I beat. I played the uh, battle version on the GameCube, but I didn't actually beat it because I, you know, I got bored with it. I honestly did not like this game as much as um, as much as Sonic Adventure. One, as far as gameplay goes, although I will say that the the story was a lot better, and I did like Shadow as a character, although I will say that he should have stayed dead. His mythos got all screwed up because fans were bitching and moaning about somehow shoehorning in a dead character back into the series. So, Shadow fans, it's your fault that his mythos is all screwed up. And I really loved this song. First time I played this game was actually the demo, and they didn't have the lyrics to the song in the demo. So I was quite blown away when I got the full version of the game and heard the lyrics. And here's where a lot of people say that the series started going wrong with Sonic Heroes. Yeah, the stages were a bit too long, and having to pretty much beat the same game uh, four different times on what's essentially different difficulty levels did seem very repetitive. Although I do like the fact that you had to get uh, special, you had to beat special stages in order to unlock the, all the Chaos Emeralds. Same thing they did with the classic games, and I actually prefer that. I don't care for getting the Chaos Emeralds just as you know a plot MacGuffin. It it kind of takes away from that you know Sonic the Hedgehog feel. Um. About the special stages in this game, though, even though I like the fact that they added them, I didn't like the brutally difficult way in, in how you had to acquire them. You just couldn't take a hit. And, wow, Sonic 06. I, I don't know what to say about this game. Um, Crisis City and Kingdom Valley are the only two stages that I actually played in full on this game. I have not played this entire game all the way through, which is probably why, like I said, is why I don't have such a bad taste in my mouth for the game. In fact, I've been currently watching uh, the um, playthrough that Johnny with the Super Gaming Brothers has been doing, and I've rather been enjoying what I was watching. And it seems like it had the potential of being a really good game, but they just rushed it, and that ended up messing it up, and... Um, I think that's evident in the amount of edits that they're showing in these clips. If you play back this credit sequence, you'll notice that um, out of all of the uh, clips that they show throughout all the games, the clips from Sonic 06 have the most edits. And Sonic Unleashed, wow, um, I'll be honest, I, I liked this game, and I know it may sound blasphemous, but the part that I liked the most was the Werehog sections. I liked the unique uh, type of gameplay that they added this to the Sonic series. Yeah, it was slow, and it was kind of like a dumbed-down version of God of War, but the day stages in this, they were all boost to win with very little platforming, and they were a spectacle to be sure, but they weren't fun to play, at least not for me, someone who's kind of ground in the old-school style of gameplay. Uh, not to say that it's bad, it's just it wasn't my taste, and, you know, each to their own. If you like the day stages, then more power to you. Now here's some. Uh, now here's a game where I rather enjoyed the day stages. I think they were a little heavy on the, plat uh, on the uh, 2D platforming sections, which I'm not complaining, but for a game that was heralded as the best 3D Sonic game, of its at its time 
I don't know. I mean, the 3D section seemed very on rails, uh, and most of the platforming was relegated to 2D. So just make a classic uh, 2D Sonic game. Now, they did pull off the 3D, you know, platforming sections in this game quite well, but I hear this is the last time we're ever going to see the style of gameplay, so... Oh well. So, that's it for Sonic Generations. 20 years of Sonic the Hedgehog, and he's still unstoppable. So, thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good. Sure, you saw a door over here? What? You are the one who said you saw a door over here! Well, I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that! Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic. Oh. Well then, no. That doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do.